embarrassed to everybody, all kinds of stuff. It's just talk. Do you sleep? What's wrong with what's asking questions? Well, some of the questions are pretty graphic. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought she was 18. What's that say right there? What number is that? 15. 15. Okay. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. Today we have a fantastic classic TCAP reaction for you. This might be my most recent, just insane request that you guys have all been commenting for me to react to. This is the Mickey Mouse Predator, as he's called. And as I've heard, this guy is quite insane. I don't know why people are calling him the Mickey Mouse Predator, but either way, we're about to find out today. So make sure you watch until the very end with me, because I'm sure this is going to be quite a wild ride. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoy the video at any point. It really does help me out. But without any further ado, appreciate you for clicking on this video let's get right on into it shall we you there Okay, okay, whoa. <laughs> I don't think I've ever paused without uh, a single word being spoken. I guess the decoy just said you there, so technically that's two words. But from this guy, not a single word spoken, and he walks in stone cold, doesn't even knock, the door is open, leaves his car, and just enters his house without saying a word. That is absolutely freaky, dude. He's already starting off on a bad foot. I know most of these guys are already creeps, and I need to be scared of basically all of them, but this dude is absolutely terrifying me already, okay? Nobody walks up to a house like this in the middle of the night and just waltzes on in this confidently he definitely thought he was about to get some action for the first time in his life but it turns out it's probably not going to be the action that he was wanting also this jacket is absolute drip man's about to hit the slopes he said you know what i might pop on this burton jacket yeah i'm not snowboarding but uh maybe it'll still impress this decoy she'll think i'm you know a little fashionista or something it's a bold choice cotton let's see if it pays off okay wait at the bar for like five minutes and then follow me up okay 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 Do me a favor and uh, just have a seat right over there on the other side of the bar. <laughs> oh, God, what are you guys doing to me, dude? F okay, I never say words like that, but you guys just sent me into a coughing fit with this one. I already can tell why this guy was requested. Do you hear the utter confidence in his voice? Okay. I could take some uh, tips from this guy when it comes to being confident in what I say because he just has the voice of an angel. The decoy's giving him instructions, being like, uh, you know, making up this dumb excuse they always do. Oh, I burnt my finger making ramen at 3 a.m. I just gotta wash some clothes and uh, apply some first aid to myself in the back room here. Make yourself some tea while you wait. And this guy is just like, okay. Like, bro's already acting like he got called into the principal's office for something bad. Like, dude, you're not being interrogated yet. Why are you already sounding so nervous? This guy is just a dating savant and we should all take some tips from him do me a favor and uh, just have a seat right over there on the other side of the bar how's it going right. did you find a place to park okay yeah, yeah let's have a seat. what's your plan for tonight nothing really nothing really <laughs> and he takes that jacket halfway off immediately to put it back on because he needs this protection he knows what's about to happen i don't know if he already knows who chris hansen is at this point again it's kind of hard to find the timeline of when these older episodes were shot i'm sure at some point it had been on tv for so long that it was ubiquitous and pretty much everybody would recognize him but who knows maybe this is the early stages and he just doesn't know if this is a parent or a law enforcement officer much like these other creeps but you can tell this dude is already shaking in his boots i mean he was at 99 percent anxiousness before even walking through this door you could hear the shakiness in his voice and now that he realizes he is not going to get any action and not meeting up with this decoy that he thought was you know much younger than him uh he, he realizes he's in for a bad time and that is a beautiful realization to see these people come across also i know this quality is a little bit shaky but again this is an older tv show this was the best i could possibly find for you guys i hope you're still enjoying it despite it looking a little bit iffy because i've heard and i can already tell this is a legendary case this was one of those guys who just won't admit that anything they said or did was inappropriate. To hear them tell the story, this is all fantasy. Yeah, instead he's just going to be nervously answering questions very lightheartedly, but he's not going to admit, obviously, that he's been chatting up this decoy. A lot of them do that before realizing that Chris has the full transcripts from them. I guess that I could pass if you thought that he was the dad and you were just like, no, I didn't say anything. I was just here to hang out. Uh, I'm 17 myself. I'm pretty young. Like, this guy could pass for being pretty young, but yeah, you're way too old to be chatting to people online like this, and don't worry, they got enough evidence to where you can decline all you want, but then as soon as they hand this over to the law enforcement and... Uh, 
as soon as they air this piece on you, you're done, bro. You are absolutely, your life has been changed for the worse in every which way, which is deserved. I always say that, I always preface this here. I, I don't want you guys thinking that I just support these guys. This is 100% deserved. You ask her if she's a I ask everybody all kinds of stuff. It's just talk. Do you sleep naked? What's wrong with what? Asking questions. <laughs> Dude, I can't hold it together with this freaking moron. Do you hear this voice? He sounds like Winnie the Pooh. I don't know why they don't call him Winnie the Pooh Predator. I guess he kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse, but damn, this voice is atrocious. And that excuse, I ask everybody questions all the time. Yeah, I ask inappropriate questions to pretty much everybody I meet. I'm known as the weird guy. That's kind of my thing. Like, bro sounds like a freaking Rick and Morty character, but like voiced by just somebody doing a terrible impression. What's wrong with what? Asking questions. Well, some of the questions are pretty graphic. Legs spread and I will blank you right away. Okay. <laughs> Bad excuse right there. Imagine walking up to a bank and you rob them and you're like, please, can you give me all the money? And then when the cops arrest you, you're like, what's, what's wrong with asking questions? I was just seeing if they were obliged to me. Yeah, I was pointing a gun at them. But besides that, I was just asking a simple question. Like, dude, give it up already. I, I guess he is already kind of surrendering. You can tell this dude just realizes there's no way out of this. But I love his nervous responses to these questions. He is looking like a little chump right now. Okay. So I said that stuff. You ask her if she's. What's wrong with that? You ask if she does it. It's a question. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, this sucks. Okay, so basically what Chris just said is, is the guy asked if, if the person would be interested in exploring other avenues of entrance. There's no way to frame this, dude. YouTube, you guys are killing me, okay? You guys are freaking killing me. I literally have to censor every single part of this chat transcript stuff. But what he's asking is so egregious and so terrible, yet he's framing it in a way where he's like, it's a simple question. I'm just asking her if she wants to do butt stuff man come on is it i ask everybody this do you want to do it i'll ask you even ridiculous the the intensity of his messages juxtaposed with his attitude now like you could tell this guy was just really trying to talk tough on the internet and was saying everything that was coming to his dirty little mind and now that he's faced with his uh you know the repercussions of his actions he's really realizing he shouldn't have said so much yo i know we're part way into this one but i just want to let you guys know my patreon i upload bonus content weekly with face cam that i simply can't show anywhere else and this week we have a special upload i actually just finished up editing this video right after i filmed this video i actually went on and did a reaction to his entire interrogation with the police this was like a massive amount of footage to go through and just way too much stuff that they're talking about on there that i cannot show on youtube so if you want to see that it is quite hilarious make sure you check out the patreon and support me over there if not just leaving a simple like and comment on the video does wonders so i appreciate you so much and shout out my supporters as well as the grim squad overlord you guys know the deal already anyways let's get back on into the video shall we Depending on the circumstances, that is against the law. Do you get that? It's against the law to say it on there. It's against the law to solicit an un girl. F yes. That's not what I. If that's what it was, I'm sorry. I literally apologize. I didn't even know the laws, dude. I'm sorry. Bro, you can feign innocence all you want, but no, yeah, that is absolutely breaking the law. And he can claim that it's all fantasy, but that's the, the number one excuse these guys have. Again, when you go into your car, there's about 100 steps in between you typing those messages and actually showing up to this house in the middle of the night, trying to meet up with a decoy, which is what you were doing. You were acting on those impulses. So it is crossing over from the realm of fantasy to reality. And now your reality is going to be long jail time. He talks about how she shouldn't tell anybody about this. He could get in trouble, but it'd be worth it. His blood is pumping, his heart is pounding. Uh, he's so excited. And yet when I read some of this back to him, he just won't admit. And even in his chat logs, he's like, oh my God, my heart's racing. I realize what I'm doing is so bad. I'm proving in these messages here that I know right from wrong. And I know that what I'm doing is very wrong, but it's just making my blood pump. I'm getting excited over here. Like, dude, you are just handing over your case to this prosecutor on a silver platter. And I am so thankful you're such a moron and did so because it is just beautiful to see unfold. And how old is this girl you came here to meet? I believe she's 18. 18? Mm-hmm. And what made you think she was 18? Because I thought she said she was 18. You want to try again? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, and I'm sure you're not about to read me a bunch of messages that say otherwise, but go ahead. I, I guess this little paper of yours got everything you need to know, so I don't know why you're asking me questions. Okay. How old are you? 
21. 21. And why did you think it was appropriate to meet a old girl home alone? I don't know. You don't know? No. You got to have a better answer than that. Chris, Chris, let me ask you something. We've been sitting through the same damn interrogation and interview that you are right now. What on God's green earth makes you think that he has a better answer for that? This guy has had one word, like non-confident, terribly said answers this entire time. Why would you think he's capable of crafting an answer better than, I don't know, or it was just a question. Like that's literally his pre-programmed responses. This guy is too dumb to think of anything else and he is just flashbang stun locked right now by this entire situation, which is making his speech even worse but that's not what it says here in the transcript of the chat i've read the whole thing so you might as well just tell me i don't know i really don't know i thought she was 18. what's that say right there what number is that 15. 15 okay Honestly, I'm kind of surprised he was even able to read that number. I didn't know he could count that high. And maybe that's why he didn't know this was illegal because he's never actually gotten to 18 himself. So he's like, oh, 15? Pretty high. That's about my max anyway. So yeah, you're probably old enough. At some point during his interview with detectives, he did admit that uh, he wanted to meet a young teenager. Okay, so apparently Chris says at one point in the interview, he finally fesses up to it, but now they just kind of let him waltz out the door. I think there might be an air of like Chris feeling bad for this guy some way because he does seem a tiny bit slow somehow. But no, I think this guy is just a dork and he has no confidence and therefore he doesn't carry himself with any sort of, I don't know, bravado that makes you think he's a normal functioning adult. But he definitely is. If you read those chat logs back, he says multiple times, I know this is wrong. I know what I'm doing is bad. My heart is racing. This guy was clearly in the wrong, okay? <laughs> There's no way to to go around that the guy knows what he was doing was absolutely bad and there is no way to take that away from him but either way let's watch him waltz out and get arrested by the cops which is my personal favorite part after they completely embarrass themselves on national television So dude gets embarrassed face down on the concrete as he gets arrested by the police and hauled away. Quite a beautiful ending to this entire saga. Well, not quite ending. In fact, we have quite a bit more footage, but that stuff is going to be over on the Patreon, like I said earlier on in the video. So if you want to support me over on the Patreon and watch me react to about half an hour of uncensored interrogation footage with the Mickey Mouse Predator, make sure you check that out today because that is going up pretty much at the same time as this upload, hopefully, if everything was planned correctly. But yeah, I want to know what you guys thought of this legend legendary case on TCAP. What did you think of the Mickey Mouse Predator? Has to be the dorkiest, most just sad specimen that we have seen on the show. I can't even call this guy a, a man because he is just absolutely so childish and weak in this show. Thank you to all of you that were suggesting this one. I get why this was so highly requested. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. I will see you guys in the next video and until next time, peace out.